What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to apply directly images from Unsplash, from Pixels or from Pixabay directly on our WordPress without needs of going to those sites directly, downloading the image, going to your computer, changing the names and uploading to WordPress. So this is a shortcut for your productivity, okay? so. Before we can start, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours. I have no idea how much it helps us, because we bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO, plugins and many more topics in order to use internet on your favor, okay? So let's check the, the, those database of images. All of the images on those sites are cre under Creative Commons licenses, so you can use those images for free, okay? You can use the images for your, on your blog, featured images, for example, on your projects, on your landing page, without problems, okay? Without needs for purchasing a license, for example. So, those are very useful sources if you are a blogger, if you are a site owner. However, you can save time while having all of those databases directly on your WordPress, okay? So, let's learn how to do this, okay? First of all, we're gonna move to our WordPress dashboard, okay? Once on WordPress dashboard, review the left side column, the left sidebar of menus and hover your mouse over plugins and click on add new. This is one of my personal favorite plugins, okay? Into the upper right corner at the search field, you're gonna type instant images, okay? So instant images, one click, unsplash, pixabay and pixels uploads. Click on install now. Click on the activate button, it's gonna redirect you to the plugins list page, no need to worry, it's normal. And now, if you go to your WordPress left sidebar and hover your mouse over media, you can see a new button next to add new, called instant image, okay? And here are all of their libraries present on your site, and you can filter, for example, on Pixabay, you can filter by category, by color, horizontal or vertical, for example. Simple, right? And you can use the search field in order to search for more images. But let's see where the fun begins. Imagine that you are writing a blog post, okay? For example, this one, the hello world. And you need an image to be your featured image, okay? So go right here. And as you can check, we have a new field. We have our media library that have all the images that we did upload on WordPress. We can see the upload files. That is where we used to upload files. And there is a new tab called Instant Image. And from here, you can choose Unsplash, Pixabay, or Pixels. And from here, let's imagine that you choose this image right here. Maybe this one. You can Click on the image to download and have on our website. Simple, right? However, we can do more things. Imagine that you would like this nice image right here, okay? Or this computer image from Dell. We can click into this gear icon at the bottom right corner, edit image details, and before uploading on WordPress, we can change the file name, the title, we can apply an alt text. We do have a video explaining why you need to apply alt text for your image. And we can even apply a caption. Or in the case that you need want, add the photo attribution to the photo maker, okay? Into the caption field. All automatically and by default. And after it is made, click on upload. And here is the image present on our gallery. Simple and easy. And now all you have to do is upload to your post the same and exactly the same process happen in the case that you are using any page builder that you like. For example, imagine that you are using Elementor, for example. Let me load a page that was made using Elementor. Just a moment. Let me go new. Let me add a new page. So if I'm using the Gutenberg editor, I can click into the plus button, find the image block, click on 
media library and select the instant image so we can upload the image from here and here is my image if you are using WP Bakery all you have to do is follow the same process however you're gonna need to apply the single image block so let me go right here add element let me find the image block single image for example here on the image I can click on it and same process find the image image uploaded image set same process in the case that you are using Elementor so let me click on edit with Elementor it gonna load the Elementor front end editor let me draw uh, an image widget right here and click on the image On Elementor they have a problem on hover, however, all you have to do is hover next to Media Library, here is the tab, and you can upload the image in the same way. Let me insert, and here is the image. No need to leave your WordPress website, no need to download the image on your computer, it goes directly to your WordPress library. Simple, easy, fast and effective. And that is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question, and don't forget to check out our Borders WordPress plugin in order to gain widgets, elements, templates and tools for building your website with those amazing images and even pre-built websites that you can import with a single click. In addition to our Enzu WordPress team, that is the best free WordPress team that you can download. And to download, all you have to do is go to our WordPress dashboard, appearance, themes, add new, search for Enzu, click on install and activate. It's completely free, just like Bordless. And in the case that you prefer, go premium and want extra elements, design options, full support, premium icons, premium images and more pre-built websites that you can import with a single click in addition to sections, pages and other templates for landing pages. Go to visualmoto.com, review the Enzo Pro or the Borderless Pro licenses or the Visual Moto Pass that include both and purchase so you can go premium. And it is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you tomorrow. All the best!